My name is Patrick. My name is Tristan. Today we're going to teach you how to set up your board from nothing. <coughs> we're going to turn this into this. Take your, your deck, take out the plastic. Go ahead, Buck. It feels like unwrapping a present. Yeah, it is. The new skateboard is definitely a present. <laughs> take your sticker out. Huh. Can I put that on my board? Let's actually set up, let's set this aside. Let's set up our wheels and trucks. You want to have these set up first. So you got your wheels. Four of them each. Go ahead and if take, you're missing one, find one. So go ahead and take your bearings out. I already ripped it. Cool. All right. So a trick to getting your, your bearings on is you're going to take, take the off, nut. take the nut off. You're going to Make sure you got the rubber side out. And you're gonna push this here. And push down. I thought this was that way out. Like that. Well, that's how it is. That. So go ahead and put that one in the base. Uh, like this one. Yep. Like that. Push it in as far as you can. And now we're gonna flip it over like this. And we're gonna push it in. So a trick. We're going to put the little washer here, we're going to put the nut on, and we're going to use our wrench, go ahead and grab the wrench, and now take this side right here, and go ahead and turn it, right and tight. We're not going to do any damage to our bearings, we're just squeezing them in to get them to... And if you, and you also want to check... Because you never want to just like assume that it's already ready and then it just like pops out when you're riding it and then it breaks Yeah, you don't want that. Wheels. Four wheels ready to go. Alright, so now let's build our trucks. My wheels look like this, but they're blue and they're more damaged up. <laughs> Alright, so now put that one on here. So we got our washer. You going to put that on. Now let's put our nut. Nut. Now with this, you want to tighten it on there. You want to have some play. You don't want it to be too tight. Otherwise, go ahead and spin it on like that. Yeah. Otherwise, um, it will stop the wheel from running. From running smooth. Okay. So what I do is like that. Let's try that. So you want to have a little bit of play. Let's do a little bit more. Probably the. Whoa. Yeah, it's falling. <laughs> Probably the most important part of building a skateboard is getting your grip tape on there even without air bubbles. So today, I'm gonna to show Tristan how to do that. Uh -oh. So we got a really cool... Wait, do you have to... What? Wait, do you have to put tape on it? I'm gonna show you. Uh -oh. So here is the back of the board. Powell Peralta, we got a rainbow tiger grip tape which matches the board beautifully. So this is the front. He likes yellow. So this is the front of the board right here. You got your 8.25, your stats. So the most important part is you want to grab your tape right here, bud, and you want to put it, you want to measure it out because you want to be even. The worst thing you could do is put it in the back. So you put it even, right? We're going to start at the... That's kind of moving. Right. We're going to start and then we're going to go one side and we're going to move it down here. This is the backing. You want to separate it from the backing because it's really sticky. And then you're going to curve the grip tape's edge. Exactly. So again, we want to make sure that we're, we don't go too far off. And then the lasers cut the corners off. Oh. So we are going to start it. I like to start it with one, one side and that way. It's too easy on the other side. Well, that way, then you that, could just peel it off. Well, that way you know you haven't lost your edge. So we're going to go there. I'm going to start it right there. And I'm gonna pick it up, and as I pick it up, I kind of fill it in, right? Mm -hmm. And as I do this, okay, you wanna make sure you have no air bubbles. And now come over here. What I'm gonna do, I'm bringing it down, bud. Yep. And I'm, as I'm bringing it down, I'm feeding it into the middle. 
Okay. So go ahead and pull the whole thing up. Yes. Oops, sir. So I'm going to bring it back up. And now I'm pressing in the middle. Because as I don't want any air bubbles, so the middle is usually where you get the bubbles. So as I bring this down, I just kind of release the back with the hand. Okay. And, and now, the best thing, and the best thing about a new was building a, um, a grip tape and um, and skateboard from scratch is that when you first put your feet on it, like once you, when you get done, the grip tape is so sticky to your shoes. If you have the right skateboarding shoes, it's so sticky. Okay, so you can even take your trucks and roll it out if you want oh, yeah, it. I'm gonna throw You're making pizza, but on a grip tape. That's right. Good. After we do all this, we get make sure we don't have any air bubbles. If we don't, we'll be good. I'm gonna touch this. So now you need something to Cut score it. up your edge. Yeah. So a file. You can use a screwdriver if you don't want to mess up your screwdriver. So I'm gonna show you. So the first well, thing. Like a, well, like not with like a movable. So you scratch, so you scratch this, so listen. You're gonna wanna score the edge. That's gonna show you where you're gonna cut your grip. Now you have the outline of your Hey guys, if you don't know how it's called, this, this, they call it see-through because you can see through the grip tape. So here's the part where you're going to need an adult. So Tristan, this is a razor. You never ever use a razor without adult supervision. But you can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be a razor blade. You can use a knife, you can use um... A knife more dangerous though, because it has <laughs> more longer things and it's, it's actually more for kids, but you it's also like way bigger and that's like there's some tiny spots that you have to cut, so be careful on the knife. So, the whole point with this <coughs> now is to be even, okay, you're going to be cutting towards yourself, okay, normally you would cut away from yourself, but here you're going to be cutting towards yourself. You want to follow your line right here. Yeah, that's and you gonna... never want to go off the line. You want to yeah. stay on the line. That's right. That's what so, my teacher So watch this. So I'm going to do a little cut in. Like this. Watch out. We'll stay back here. Okay. Just can't see. Because come, yeah, come on. Whoop. So you come in. And then once you once you have this, you come up like this. Usually you're cutting. And now you're following your edge. You see that? Oh. Yeah, you're following your edge. And that right there is the line, which is the outside of your deck. And as you follow that line, it's gonna cut out the- Oh wait, Dad, stop, I have to tell something. Okay, hold on, well, let, let me get to the edge here. Okay. So. Cause I, that's, I have an important thing. So there it is. So now you got your deck, you're all taped up. So here's what we're gonna do. Woo! We're gonna put our razor away and make it safe. First of all, we wanna make sure that we don't have any overhanging edges that we don't like that we wanna trim. This is a little ugly, we'll go ahead and... Ugly. <laughs> we'll clean that up a little bit. Okay, so now the next thing is we wanna use, once we put our razor away safely, now what we're gonna do now is we are going to sand the edge of the board. From just the edge. So just like that. You do it over here. Mm -hmm. You use this stuff. So you just want to rough the edge of the board. You can eliminate any of the areas that don't look clean and make sure that grip tape stays on the board. Yeah. So now, how does that look? Good. Pretty good, right? Nice and smooth. You don't have any bubbles. 
the edges are clean. My dad said I could test it when we're, when we're done. It's true. We got our deck, right? We got our de deck, we're taped. The hardest part is already done. So, next, we gotta put our, our trucks in the wheel. If you have a small screwdriver or a poker, basically, poke a hole through here and that way you know where your, your bolts are gonna go through and it makes it a little easier to see. Go ahead and poke it down. There you go. Just just a little easy. Just, there you go. Not, not, not too much, just a little poke. There it is. There it is, and I'll flip it. My favorite go part. Go straight down. Like that. Go straight my down. Favorite, my favorite part of the bar is the top. Um going right regular. Uh, regular part. Now, let's see. Okay, now you know where your, your bolts are going. You don't need a lot of bolts though. So go ahead if and you pop have them out there. If you have a lot of bolts, you don't need a lot. It's it's too tiny already. Well, watch. So, it is small. That's why we get it started, you kind of force it through. Like that. So let's flip this over. Now, so which way does the truck go? Uh, this way, I think. Wait, Wait no, no, let me see. Well, yeah, yeah. Wait, so I'm pushing the ball out. Uh, there you go, yeah. I think it goes like that. Sure does. Line up the holes. Bang, bang. Bang! Go ahead. And now we get to another bolt. Now we need the nut. Go ahead and put that on. I like these nuts. Pretty cool. One, so see that's upside down? Oh yeah, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Okay. These nuts are way bigger than How strong is skateboard wood? Strong. <laughs> How strong? Super strong. How strong is, as strong as you? Not that strong. 